Can you walk us through what you what you saw on the first touchdown and how it played out? There? Yeah, um, I mean it was just a normal keeper that we had up. Um, you know, I got I got the edge. I just felt like I had a lot of time. Um, the smart decision to probably just you know continue to run, try to get as many yards as I can instead of you know put the ball up like I did. But um, I saw BA in the back of the end zone sort of run space George as well, and I was I just put it up towards the back and um, BA came down with it. But yeah, uh, I'm not necessarily proud of that play honestly. I mean it, yes, it was a touchdown and everything great. BA made a great play, um, but I got a smart ball and, and if anything I sh I should have ran the ball. So. Turned it among your worst decisions <laughs> yeah. ever. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> so, yeah. George was indicating that you like were kind of doing this with your head to try and throw off the defense, but then yeah, um, I just felt space on the left side, so I sort of nodded to like going right, and he literally went right. <laughs> I was trying to like you know get the defense to think I'm going to throw back right, but then have him go left. So, um, so something that you know we got to get on the same page about. On, on decisions, you're probably happier about the, the touchdown to, to Kittle. Um, how, can, how much do you feel that pressure that's kind of coming around you? What does it take to stand in there and deliver that ball, knowing that you're probably about to get hit in a situation? Yeah, um, I mean, just what they, they were they were playing man. So I knew George just needed some time to get outside, of, um, you know, one on one with that backer. Um, so knowing that, and then you know, seeing the safety sort of cut and take BA over the middle, I was all right. This is George one on one. So. Yeah, I had some pressure and stuff, but I just got to give George a chance, and George did a great job getting underneath it and going all the way there. Sweet. Rob, how big was this win for you guys? Just how much did you lose? Yeah, it's huge. Um, you know, when you, you lose three in a row, obviously it's like, man, you want to get back on track. Um, but honestly, we've taken every single game, you know, very seriously, and, and uh, we come come to work, you know. We never got complacent or anything. There's some things that had, haven't gone our way a couple plays within the last game, kept the last couple games, but uh, for this one, Came with the right mindset of, you know, backs against the wall in a sense, and uh, let's, you know, let's play like, like hungry again. So, um, I think that was the mindset. But overall, man, we're just trying to play Niner football. Are you feeling it in any way coming off those three losses? What were you, you feeling it? Were you feeling maybe a little bit more pressure, a little bit more on you? Uh, I, I guess a little bit. You know, when you lose games in the NFL, it's like you know, there's a standard, especially with this organization. You know, we all demand a lot out of ourselves, um, and so. Um, I was more, you know, feeling the pressure just within myself. Like, man, I, I, I need to play better um, because of, you know, how I played in the past, you know. And so um, that's where I was at with it. But, you know, I came into this game with a clear mindset of, man, I got dudes around me, got a great defense, um, be smart with the ball and, and make plays, you know, sort of play free in terms of cutting it loose, um, but also playing within the scheme and being smart with the ball. So um, that's where I was at and got to keep playing like that going forward. The, the defense like this was the offense's best performance of the season. You guys didn't have a single turnover. You didn't turn the ball well over. I mean, was it the best performance of this team so far this season, offensively? Um, man, I, it's tough to say. I haven't really watched the film or anything yet, but I think there's still, you know, some stuff left out there you know, that we could all learn from. Um, I mean, I think the Dallas game, there was a couple drives where we were off, but I thought that one was pretty good. Um, and so this one too, like, yeah, once we're, once we're clicking, you know, like today, we felt good, you know, putting points up on the board, defense getting stops, turning the ball over. It was just really good team football. Um, we felt that today. But still, there's some drives out there that can be made. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll learn from it still. So, so many of the guys talk about complimentary and team football like you just did. Is there a tangible boost that you feel when the defense had that stop, the, the three and out to start the game? Offensively, can you feel that that momentum with your own unit? Yeah, I mean, especially you know, coming and starting out the game with some momentum. You know, defense gets a stop, three and out, boom, and then we are moving. You know, from the get go with some the first couple plays, we just felt the momentum. It's huge, and so our defense has done a great job with that. And anytime we've had success, you know, our defense is always, you know, the, the side of the ball to really you know start something up. I feel like you know, get a turnover, get a three and out, and then it you know encourages us to go out and do our thing. So. Very blessed to have our defense. Last positive, one, Branch. Positive spin on, on that first. Well, I mean, it's positive because it was a touchdown. But the throw to Ayuk, I, I, the fact that that was one of your first throws, you had been scrutinized, like, you got to be careful with the ball. I mean, you know that by then. And the fact that you obviously weren't scared and you still flung it, I mean, I guess, does that show your mindset is still, yeah, I got to be careful, but I'm not going to lose that mentality? Yeah. Um, you know, the biggest thing is, I think, just playing within our scheme, how, you know, Chan's calling plays, how Greasy's coaching us up with just our reads, our footwork progression, everything, playing within that. And then there's opportunities where stuff breaks down, all right, now let's go play, you know, some backyard football-esque type.
type of plays, but to say I'm searching for those kind of plays, that's wrong. Um, and so, yeah, going into this game, you got to play like that. I still, you know, I play football. I mean, I'm aggressive with what I do and how I throw the ball. And um, I still have to learn, you know, time, times in the game and situations where I got to be smart with the ball. So that's something I got to continue to learn. Um, but at the same time, um, you know, they do a good job of not just handcuffing me. You know, they let me play, play quarterback in an aggressive way and get the ball to our guys in the road. The camera right, was the guys. camera was on you just real quick. Well, yeah. The camera was on you and Christian was about to maybe score the 18th. How much how many did you want him to get in there? Yeah. Um, yeah. I, well, after the touchdown to Juice, um, I sort of felt bad. I was like, I, we came off the sideline and guys were talking about it. I'm like, oh man. Um, <laughs> I'm like, dang it. Like I was mad, sort of. Um, obviously, scored a touchdown. It's the biggest thing. But um, you know. Then the next drive, we were like, hey, let's drive for Christian and try to get him a touchdown. This is huge. And so, um, yeah, at the end, man, it's like we all wanted it for him. Every guy on this team wanted it for Christian. And then obviously, I think Christian wants it more than anybody. Like, um, he's a humble guy, wants to win. Um, so he puts the team first. But in that moment, everybody wanted it for Christian. So it, it hurts. And um, but at the same time, he's got a long career ahead of him. And I told him we'll be able to do it again. So. All right. Thanks, guys. A really good team win. Um, just complimentary ball all around. Um, a good kind of reset for us to keep going. Do you kind of feel that the chase brings a little bit more juice just because of the numbers that it creates for your Eli? Yeah, I mean, having him is such a big threat. Uh, I think we play off of each other well, and um, me and him are really excited to, to keep going. You guys are someone else, so just, you know, I don't know. Have some fun going in the end zone. I probably won't ever walk in again because I'm going to get yelled at for that. But <laughs> yeah, at least I didn't drop the ball before I got in the end zone. Was that the most room you've ever had in between you and the defender in your career? After rookie fell, yes. Yeah. Yeah, that was really fun. We should have done more often. Can you take us through the emotional journey of the touchdown pass that went to Brandon over your head? Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, kind of talked about this, but i heard like three times, like, you know, was that a great decision by Brock? Well, since it worked, it was a great decision. Um, but like every time I see a quarterback, you know, roll onto his left and throw him back to the right, I just think about Brett Favre and the Vikings in the playoffs. And like, it's one of the biggest no-nos, um, except when it works. And um, it was funny too, cause you know, Brandon's running a corner, I'm running across and Brock's like, you know, type nodding his head for us to go back. But he was like, I was talking to the defense. I was trying to you know, sell it to the defense. I wanted you guys to keep running. Yeah, well, my bad, Brock. I mean, Brandon, me and Brandon both fell for it too. But uh, you know, I went over my head a little bit, and I was like, hopefully, there's someone else there that's not a defensive player. And I look around, and Brandon's scoring a touchdown. And I'm just happy for Brandon to get back in the end zone because he had two against Pittsburgh, and it's been kind of a dry spell for him. But you know, uh, it's a fun day when you know all the skill positions score. Unfortunately, not Christian, but you know, when you're tied in and the fullback is scoring, that's great. That's great football. The telepathic abilities aside, how do you think Brock, or just as far as scrambling like his legs, because that's what he did on that play. He's, He's created a lot of plays for you guys this season. What does that bring to your offense? When you have a quarterback who can run a little bit and he is a threat in the run game and he also, like, he believes in his legs and he can outrun guys, um, it just allows plays to develop a little bit longer. You know, not everything has to be a three-step, five-step drop, seven-step drop throw. When you can do a little bit of extra, it's really hard to play defense and cover guys for five seconds. It really is, especially if there's, like, not a lot of pressure and the quarterback's out on the side. That's where you get all the legal contacts. That's where you get the pass interferences. Or, you know, if you're playing man coverage, it's really difficult to guard guys that long. So it just allows our offensive players who are skilled guys, like I said, they're very talented, allows us to work a little bit longer and get open. Can you explain the impact of having Debo and Trent back in the lineup? I mean, the offense looked pretty flawless today with their back. Um, you know, what Debo brings to the table is a lot. Um, you know, especially where we line them up. Um, when you can move him and Christian, you interchange them. The, the defense has to account for a lot of stuff. And then you, you take in all of our motions and all that stuff. There's a lot going on for the defensive process every single play. And when you have that capability, um, it you know just gets the defense kind of on on their heels a little bit, and then you can attack them with Debo. You can throw a route to Christian, um, so that's huge for our offense just to have that um, diversity, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then you go look at Trent Williams, and what Trent does is besides being you know a first out Hall of Famer left tackle, still playing at a very high level, his confidence that he brings into the huddle um, is fantastic. The way he gets guys hyped before drives, in the middle of drives. Uh, he's incredibly encouraging. Uh, just when you have a guy like that who's a very vocal leader, too, in the huddle, it just brings everybody up around him. And then also, he doesn't really need chips or anything like that. Uh, he just kind of manhandles anybody that he goes against. And it's very it's very fun to play with someone that's the, probably the best ever doing this position. All right, appreciate it, George. Thanks, guys. Thank you.